Hey, Phil Roger Gamers, how you doing? We're back with more Grand Theft Auto 5 today. Why the hell not? <laughs> yeah, I'll park against the wall. It's all good. Oh God, these ass wipes again. Hey, Michael. David. Well, isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double dating. Sorry, guys. This bar and a hunk of love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant! Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, duh! I love it! I, I, I gotta remember to write that down. And to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andreas, taking notes? This stuff? Whoa! Pure magic! I should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so, well done with our uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before you close your fucking windpipe? The joke stopped now, pal. You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? Or the greater FIB? Or the entire government? Because I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. And why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up their questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. My career depends on this. And that's very important to me. So seeing as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. Now run along, kids. See, there you go, Dave. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Come on. The Bureau owns a lot out in East L.S. Covington supplies off El Rancho. Can you take us there? Yeah, sure. Sounds nice and secluded. Kind of place you'd run an off-the-books operation, huh? So what? So I bet federal ain't on the deed, that's so. And we all like our federal government open and transparent. Except when closed and opaque suits you better. Hey, I'm just a puppet. You're the one pulling the strings. Yeah, what he said. Cretton! Sorry, move, bitch. Why do I always gotta drive other- Oh, fuck, what the hell? Why do I always gotta drive other people's cars? Huh? Tell me, Davey, you expense this ride to the taxpayer? I need you to make a couple of calls. Get some people on board. First guy is Franklin Clinton. Hey, I barely know that kid. He's fixing up my car. Call him, or we'll send some G-men to his aunt's house. Okay. Okay. Hey, sorry about that. Listen, you know that thing we talked about before? It's happening. I need you to come to a lot off El Rancho, not far from where we met before. Now, Trevor Phillips. Oh, you're crazy. 
I ain't calling him. I thought you might say that. So we had him picked up. That's a dumb huh. move, Dave. Real fucking dumb. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. Clinton is going to be positioned across the street, keeping an eye on the proceedings. Phillips flies you in, you rappel down, make the extraction. And I'm the best guy you got. With you, we've got good leverage. Great. And you brought Trevor in. We're telling him I'm all cozy with the F5B. You'll need discreet support. We'll maintain control of the situation. Discreet? Control? Yeah, good luck controlling discreet Trevor. You know what? You better keep a low profile. Yeah, I think I will. See you later. Who's that cagey motherfucker, huh? No, it's another cagey motherfucker, all right? Not you! Hey, T, enough with the faux political bullshit. <sighs> Franklin, come on, you better take off. Really. Shit, I'm good. I ain't bailed. Whoa. What, well, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of, uh, son I never had bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen. If you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, deranged. Yeah, and best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. <sighs> all right, guys, listen, this is the shot. I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting on this job, okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. We're gonna make these assholes happy, and we're gonna walk away from this thing clean. Got it? I got you. All right. And we do this, and they help us spring Brad, right? Yeah. We'll talk about Brad later, all right? I gotta change. You better grab a head start. Nice to meet you, homie. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> The government gimp at last. Yeah, bite me. Let's go. <sighs> All right, let's do this thing. We need to go to the agency headquarters downtown. Your new friends are a riot. No wonder you said sayonara to the old crew. Walking away ain't easy, Trev. Sometimes I guess you gotta make compromises. What happened to dying with a gun in your hand? Life happens. Annoying wife, two kids. Remember them? You get tied down, you can't move anymore. What about your ties to me? To Brad? Those ties are why you got roped in on this FIB instigated suicide pact. For as long as it keeps me amused, I am. I ain't exactly sure it's gonna be amusing. We'll see. You know, you had me at suicide pact. The access point is on the west side of the tower. Get us in position so I can rappel down. You fuck around while I'm out there. I'll climb back up this rope and strangle you with it. Yeah. <laughs> Keep her steady! Keep her steady! Hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> that guy looked up, he was like, what the fuck? Grab his other arm. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you think you're impenetrable? <laughs> See how you feel with this is 18 inches deep inside. <laughs> Get the loop. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Terminate him. Close this problem right now. Gaggy, yeah, use a little backup here. Get me the station team. 36 flow. I got you. What the hell is going on? Stop the lead! Get my kid! Don't shoot me! Help me! I don't see anyone else. Oh! 
Oh, there he is. Rules clear, T! Hit the witch! Get us out! Cut him down, people! Yeah! Oh, He's more of a protege. Yeah, what, you gonna teach him to be old before his time? Yeah, to never grow up. That seems like a good kid. Huh? Michael, uh, look at this, huh? New city, new set of problems, but the idiots, uh, they stay the same. Yep, I guess. All right, Trevor, I'll see you later. Oh, you better believe it, buddy.
The FIB Townley? Why does it not surprise me? <laughs> Oh shit, Cletus. Favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? No, I just saw. What the hell did I. I just saw a fucking mountain lion, like, running over here. Doing some weird shit. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, they <coughs> poke them, and they'll boat. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is his biggest defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. <laughs> All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using the down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep this down. Let's do it. You're colder than a mother-in-law's kiss. All right, stick with me. I'll lead us further in. Makes Keep sense. Quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else or nothing else out here. Oh, we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a <laughs> it tastes man. like old. Mm -hmm. An elk whistle, you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player. And I talk from experience. <laughs> and I talk. Listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him.
Yep, that's him right there. Got him, Cletus. Wow, you blew his damn head off. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Well, it does sound like someone's strangling a clarinet player. Okay, this is good. Same as before. Nice and steady. There we go. Fuck! Got to. Anyway, guys, it's gonna be it for this one. We will see you all next time. Later.